Hey guys, Tyke here. So this is gonna be a pretty brief video because it's not the first time that we talked about this and this is the official Oculus Link cable for the Oculus Quest. The cable is gonna let you use the Oculus Quest as a PC VR headset to play all those PC games that otherwise you will miss with just a standalone headset with a mobile chipset inside. Now, this is an $80 cable, so are we really reviewing it? Well, I guess we are. Let's see if it's worth it or not and what to expect from the future from it and why maybe you should consider it or not. And of course, what are the alternatives to it? Let's get into it. I will say right away, this is not the only cable that you use with the Oculus Link connection. There are many alternatives. Actually, Oculus itself uh, suggested the Anchor cable back then when uh, there was just a software beta and this cable wasn't available yet. It's a little shorter, but you can also use extension cables like I do. I use a 15 feet active uh, extension cord and then I connect it to the Anchor cable. And with that, I have 20 feet cable that is pretty nice, actually 25 and uh, I can move everywhere in my area. Very, very nice, a little heavier, also you have a little vault over there, but this is an opportunity, I'm gonna leave the links below, by the way. Talking about this cable is $80. Why is that expensive compared to like the $20 that we can pay for like a anchor cable plus extension cord? Well, this is because it uses different technologies in an optical fiber cable. That means that the cable itself can be longer, USB Type-C to Type-C, and that has a night bandwidth and it can transmit all the voltage that you need to don't lose battery while you're playing. Because one of the perks of this cable is the fact that if you start with 100%, well, you're gonna finish your playing session with 100%. Instead, with other cables that use USB Type-C to USB Type-A, well, then you lose some power because the Type-A doesn't have the same power bandwidth of an USB Type-C, and that means that you're gonna lose some battery while playing. Now, you really have to play for like more than eight hours to then find yourself in a situation where you have no more batteries, and uh, that's it but never happened to me in two weeks that I kept the Oculus Quest with uh, my cable, the anchor cable in Italy, it was always ready to use without any problem. But if you really care about it, maybe you are in a VR cage, something like that, well, that can be a perk for sure. The other perk of the optic fiber is that it's more flexible, so it should be good for durability, and it has an L shape. That is also pretty good for durability because you don't destroy the cable right away, just uh, pulling it, maybe uh, moving a lot in your play area. It also comes with a little clip that you can clip to the official uh, strap. I'm using a deluxe audio strap, so I'm not really using that clip, but you can see that how it works. You just clip it in with the cable inside and the cable doesn't move anymore. So you have another security that you're not gonna break that little connection of the USB cable on the Oculus Quest. So it's nice and it's also very easy to take off. So if you want to play uh, with the Oculus Link, you just put in clip and you're good to go. Very, very easy. Now, does it change anything in the software part? Well, playing is exactly the same. Actually, it probably loads like in uh, one and a half second instead of two seconds when you click on enable on the Oculus Link connection. And that can be nice, of course, because it's faster, but the image quality is exactly the same of the one that we have with other cables. So it's not really where you have to look at. But because the bandwidth is very good and it's an official cable, maybe in the future they can push the detail a little better there instead of the other cables. We don't really know yet, but uh, uh, well, it could be a possibility, I guess. So overall, what are the perks? Well, it's five meters, so it's plenty long to play in your VR space. Can be connected to any USB 3.0 port. So if it's the one in front of your computer, there's no problem. If it's the one on the back in your motherboards, it's no problem. Or even the one on the RTX graphic card is no problem. You can connect to that and have the same power outlets and also the same bandwidth that you have for the video and yeah it just works but don't expect miracles because this is just the cable the software part is just the software part so even with the official one i had a moment where everything got blank and uh, everything stopped and i couldn't play anymore official cable or not i had to restart my pc and restart also the oculus quest to get 
the connection working again because it wasn't just detecting the PC anymore. So don't expect this to solve any issues that you have with another cable. If you have a third party cable, so right now, it's gonna be exactly the same, but you're gonna have a longer cable, probably with better durability and with better power bandwidth at the end. So at the end of the day, should you consider this cable? Well, it really depends on you. Actually, if you want something official that just works, uh, I mean, it's always a beta anyway, but the cable you just plug it in and it works uh, without having to plug two different cables and maybe the connection is not the right one, but yeah, uh, you just put it in and it's fine. Uh, well, this is an option, it's $80, as I keep saying, uh, but it's a quality cable as much as a cable can be a quality cable. Instead, if you just want a good experience, maybe a very long cable, there are plenty of different options out there and uh, some under link below so go nuts and the one that I'm using I'm actually very happy and uh, I don't understand why I should move to this in my case I spent $80 for this so uh, if you want to leave a like it will help a little at least maybe this video is gonna go around and uh, yeah, uh, I don't know if I'm gonna use it. Probably yes, I'm gonna use it because it's the official one, so I can always check if there's some updates directly or if it uses better the update, but so far the quality is the same. And uh, yeah, I didn't get any problems from having two different cables attached with the extension cord in two weeks. I played it without any problem, so I don't see why it should be a problem in the future. If you want to enhance the quality of the Oculus Link connection, I made a video about it, so check it out, it should be over here. And uh, so far so good. If you liked the video, like, please do, so I can uh, maybe go a little better with this one. If you didn't like the video, just like, subscribe to the channel for more VR tech. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Ciao.